Good morning and welcome to the Daily Word with Pulaski Heights United Methodist Church. My name is Kathleen McMurray. I'm one of the pastors here and I'm so thankful that you are joining us in this time of devotion this morning. Today we are entering into the weekend where we have Valentine's Day. Um, February 14th is Valentine's Day and so today I thought I would read a scripture um, about love true love, um, the love of God and the love that we are to have because of the love of God. So this comes from 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 12. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love is perfected in us. I love that the author of 1 John begins this beautiful passage with the word beloved. Before John even goes on to talk about love, John is framing our identity as those who are loved. Beloved, the author says, beloved. All of us are loved. We are loved and we are called to love. And this is not just simplistic love. A lot of times in Valentine's Day and in Valentine's season, we think of uh, little heart messages and um, rainbows and unicorns and (laughs) beautiful, elaborate Valentine's notes. But the love that God has for us is a deeper love, a sacrificial love, a never ending love. A love that meets us no matter who we are or what we've done or what's been done to us. A love that wishes the best for us. A love that transforms us. And this is the love that we are called to have for one another. Loving one another can sometimes be difficult, (laughs) especially in the way that God does. But we're able to do so because of our identity. Because, as the author said, God first loved us. And God's love is experienced and shared through us. So this weekend, I hope that you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And I hope that you can think of it as a time to consider your identity as those who are all beloved.